You guys, I am officially planning a Halloween party. It's going to be so much fun. So it's not just going to be me decorating the house, getting all this food just for my family. We're going to actually have a Halloween party this year on Halloween and it's going to be so fun. So we have a couple of guests coming over and it's going to be so fun. And I'm not going to reveal who's all coming over yet because I want it to kind of be, well, it's not going to really be a surprise, but it's going to be fun for you guys to see them at the party. We're going to have a costume contest, a pumpkin painting contest, and a trivia contest. So there'll be, you know, prizes and things to win, plus some goodies, lots of decorations, lots of good food. So I'm really, really excited. I've made a lot of homemade decorations. One of the videos that you guys have already seen for my Halloween videos was how to make the pumpkins, the ghosts, and the signs. And that is for this, actually. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the iCard. But this is going to be the behind the scenes on the Halloween party and all the stuff that went into the prep to put it together. So today, we're gonna start off with making some more spiders. So we're gonna take pieces of cardboard and make them into cute little spiders for the party for decorations. And we're gonna be working on our Halloween trivia cards. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything I have throughout um, a couple different days, a couple different filming things. I'm just gonna show you guys all the stuff how I put it together, all that stuff, and put it into one fun video. So if you're watching this right now, this is the behind the scenes of the Halloween party. So basically I just cut um, a little piece of paper into a square, but I made it a little crooked so it'd be kind of like creepy type of thing. And then I just wrote Halloween trivia. I want to put the questions on these. So I need, I think 15 questions I had. So I'm gonna write all the questions on here and I have another thing for all of the like trivia answers. So I did that today and then also I'm gonna be taking these little cardboard pieces and making them into little spiders. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so I took pieces of cardboard, cut them into circles. That's the first step. Um, this is about how many spiders I need. So I'm not gonna do too many, but this is quite a few to get done. And then all you need is a dry erase marker and then you're gonna need some plain white paper that we're gonna cut into legs later. But first we're gonna color these. See nothing? Guys, this is what it's gonna look like. Now we're just gonna add the legs. You're just gonna take a piece of paper and you're just gonna cut it into thin strips, like so. Try to show you guys better. Like this, do that to the whole piece of paper, and then you're just gonna crinkle them like this. And you're hopefully not going to have a small cat that's going to try and help you. <laughs> then it'll be all crinkled and you can cut these into half. And that can be a set of spider legs. And then you're just going to tape or glue them on. Good evening guys. Today's video is going to be all about the Halloween party prep. And everything that I did and everything that's going into it. So come along with me and I hope you guys enjoy this little behind the scenes video and I hope you guys are having a fantastic happy Halloween. Don't forget that tomorrow, November 1st, you guys will get to see the Halloween party in action and see everybody and see what we did on Halloween. So expect that tomorrow, but I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes on setting up for the Halloween party. Okay, so this is my big bag of everything <laughs> Halloween that's going to be happening. So I'll show you guys kind of quick. Kind of not quick, but kind of quick. So these are the prizes. It's a little like metal and it's in this cute little bag. So these are the prizes for the three contests. Contest for um, costumes, pumpkin painting, and trivia.
these are the cups these are for like food and you guys saw these last year but these are the new ones eat drink and be scary so i got those plus plates same plates as last year pink for the pumpkins okay these are to vote for the costumes you just write one number and then um put it into the box these are place markers for everybody for their seats these are little food labels I'll show you more at the party, but these are food labels. Then we have a welcome sign. This is the trivia. And I have small cards too to put on the tables. And I have this where you take a picture. This is like a sign to take a picture. And this is where you put your um, costume picture from my Insta film. Um, so that way everybody knows what number and they can vote. This is for trivia. Trivia sign. This is for the painted pumpkin. And then I have Holly Happy Halloween signs and Follow the Cats to some of these party signs for outside. These are trivia cards where they can write their answers and then submit them. And then I have a pumpkin sketch so that I can make some more pumpkins. These are little cards also for the um, costume contest. Um, these are what they will put them on when they want to submit them. And then here's the small trivia cards that will be on the table. And then Happy Halloween signs and posters, follow the cat, and then a whole bunch of pumpkins and ghosts and bats. So these are the same plates as last year. These ones will be for food. They'll be food trays. But these are the plates for this year to serve on, and I thought they were so cute. And then I have um, a tablecloth and some extra rings for the table. And some caution tape for decoration. Um, I'm going to put these little school rings on the table as like little grabs so that people can have as well. And then I have little leaves for the table as well. And these are also decorations. This goes for the garden. This is like one of those like, I don't know, you like hang it up and it's like, ooh, it's a bloody cloth. So it's like spooky, I guess. And then I also have some balloons. They have these little, um glow sticks in them so these are going to be up all over as well as some decorations i think i mentioned it but i also have orange and black um crepe paper or streamers to decorate with as well and then i have these for a very special reason that i'm not going to show you yet okay then we have pumpkins for everybody to paint obviously to go along with the paint that i have and this is going to be for the front i also mean Happy Halloween pumpkin sign that is also going to be out there to glow and then this is going to go on the table it's just like a little witch's spell book and it's got uh, a spell from like charm in it I just thought that'd be a cute prop for the table and then tomorrow we are going to get the food so you guys will see that in the um, Halloween day vlog I'm going to be filming as we set up and things like that and show you guys all the cool stuff um so i'll show you guys that on halloween and this is what it's gonna look like when it's done cute little do-it-yourself spider pumpkins for the party i made extras for the house as well so i did that and then i also made this halloween sign that i don't know if i'm gonna leave in here or if i'm just gonna make a secondary one for outside but i kind of love this so cute and then some of the stuff up here i'm going to take to put on the table which i will show you guys the table design i literally have a book called halloween party and everything in there has step by step on what i'm gonna do and all that stuff so it's been so super fun um, I have a whole bunch of stuff upstairs, prizes and things like that that I have to show you guys too. And it's going to be so fun. Alright you guys, so I'm making some spooky ice. That's what I'm calling it. Spider ice for the party. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of this since I only have one tray. And put it in this bag and then, you know, obviously keep it in the freezer. But I'm trying to make enough spider ice to have, you know, not like 
the whole party because that's a lot of spider ice to make in a few days and I don't know if it'll last that long but I'm gonna make enough for everybody to have three of the fun ice cubes uh, maybe four and then they'll have regular ice because I gotta buy regular ice too but I thought this was kind of a fun idea I got this at the dollar store and this has come in so much handy and it's so easy to use and this is what it looks like on the other side Okay, so I wrote down all my trivia questions, and I put little stickers and just made it kind of decorative. There's 15 questions in here, so these are going to be sitting on the table, and they're going to take their cards, which I think I already showed you guys, but I'll show you again if I didn't. Um, they'll take their personal card and write the answer that they think, and then at the end, I will give all the answers. But I put 15 questions for Halloween trivia. I also made this banner for the contest winners to stand in front of and take a picture. It got a little crumpled because <laughs> it was sitting in a box and the cats knocked it over and then jumped on it and played in it. So it's a little cat crumpled. But I thought this was really cute. And it's got pumpkins so they'll stand. If I can get it to stay, they'll stand here and then I'll take a picture and this will be like the little Halloween background so I made that for the party but I hope you guys enjoyed this what I did to plan my Halloween party I made most of my decorations I only bought a few everything was really really simple and pretty much under $30 for the whole party um and that's including food 20 of it is like for food so really it was only 10 because I bought like paper and streamers and some decorations most of the decorations I already had so that is my party planning I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes and we'll see you for Halloween tomorrow have a very spooky night